Hello and welcome back once again to Anne Bernard, the very, very impressive fantasy total conversion mod for EU4. We are going to be starting again. Uh, we did, of course, just do a lovely run as of Dal Kanzad, which ended in abject misery, failure, and, and all of the... You know, it was very Dwarven-like. There was a lot of ambition. There was a lot of gold, although that gold was owed to other people. And then there was a lot of invasion by various denizens of the deep and of the surface. And then everything fell apart and it went to shit. It's basically a metaphor for the entirety of the dwarven race in this mod. Um, who used to own all of the mountains and then all of the things I just said happened and it went to shit. It it's basically, we perfectly, perfectly replicated the fall of Dwarven Kind. It's just perfect. So, we're going to be starting again. We're going to be doing something a bit different. Um, I am streaming these over on twitch.tv slash lordlambert underscore. And we did a poll on who to play next. And the winner was Vinail, uh, which I assume is pronounced absolutely perfectly because I'm very good at that kind of thing. Vinail is the Portugal of this mod. We are uh, colonizers and elves that are fleeing to the west. Uh, hopefully not to die, uh, hopefully to do settling and, and, and stuff. Who knows? We're gonna see what we can achieve. Uh, apparently they're quite fleshed out with their mission tree, though I haven't given it a go yet. Um, but let's get in as Vinail. Normal mode, of course, because uh, I might need to Reload a save at some point, you know? <laughs> we'll see. Uh, right, so, Venail. A year has passed since the dynastic Lilac Wars fought between the pretenders of the Imperial Grand Duchy of Demaria and the victorious Kingdom of Laurent, and much of Canor lies in a period of uneasy truce and recovery. To the west, infamous wine lords of Laurent, like Madelaire, Elisin, Rubenair and Sorncost refused to bow to their de jure liege, the King of Laurent. To the north, the Kingdom of Gaved looks to its southern Laurentish rival with hungry eyes, eager to become the sole suzerain of the Halfland small country once and for all. In the northwest, gnomish ambitions rise once again, a new fight to claim their ancestral home for the Dragon Coast from its kobold invasors must soon begin. To the central empire of Anbanar stands shaken with its ancient regime of Demerian rule, over, sorry, over, along with its ruling half-elven house of Silmuna wiped to near extinction. Their enemies, the Grand Duke of Wex, sits on the Imperial throne, uplifted by Demeria's numerous enemies and scheming lords who seek to exploit the lack of Demerian hegemony. To the east, the Age of Green Tide wages on, with many kingdoms felled already by the endless Horkish hordes, and the avatar of the disgraced God of War, Corin, recently sacrificing her life to defeat the large Green Tide vanguard and giving the March Lords a fighting chance of reclaiming the lost east. The entire continent is on the verge of major changes. It will be up to you as the leader of Venaili, principality, through this period. Lovely. So religion, we are Elven Forbears. We get prestige K and blah 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 stuff. Uh, we are a republic. We are a principality. Very nice. Uh, and then the environment. Canor is a diverse temperate land inhabited by many races such as halflings, dwarves, gnomes, kobolds and orcs. Though the dominant race of the continent is humanity, in addition to its half-elven nobility, the signs of a 400-year-old pairings between elven migrants and the native human nobility. At the centre of Canor lies the Dame's Head, an inland sea surrounded primarily by the Empire of Anbanar, a giant but largely divided empire that dominates the central regions of Canor. Upon the death of an emperor, the imperial elector select his replacement by voting. A member can become an elector by being granted an electorate by the current emperor or inheriting an elector. Countries within Anbanar, meaning unity in Elven, are allowed their own diplomacy and can even have their own subjects, but the Emperor is obligated to defend them from outside forces and can demand that they hand back unlawfully acquired territory within the Empire. Uh, so blah blah blah, it's, it's HRE. Cool. So, victors of the Lilac Wars. The Lilac Wars ended a year ago and we were victorious. We fought under the banner of the Rose and defending the sovereign right of the Laurentish throne. We fought to maintain balance in Canor and prevent the old decadent house of Silmuna from dominating the land. Sweet! Gain 20 opinion bonus with fellow Rose party members and the Moon party can suck one. So, 
We are here on the western edge of Canor, which is uh, this old place right here. Uh, Laurent, who we were just learning about, is right here. Um, and Garved, who we just read about. And then there's Wex, who's uh, sitting on the throne right now. We have a look at the Imperial map mode, which I think I've got here somewhere. There it is. So the Emperor right now is Wex, and there's a bunch of electors, a bunch of free cities as well. Uh, it's pretty interesting. It's like the HRE, but with a C in the middle, which is nice. But we're over here. We're on the western coast. We don't care for the politics of the Empire. We are looking to escape all of that by going west. Nice. Let's have a look at our ideas, first of all. So, we start with heavy ship combat ability, with a bloody nice plus 20%, and trade range. Um, that's our trade range is there. We get a colonist, and as, as our first idea, we got naval attrition, global settler increase, naval operation chance going down, that's handy, I like that. Morale of navies, we've got global tariffs, we've got a merchant. All right, we start with exploration ideas started, but we don't have any ideas taken in it yet. We are, of course, using uh, the idea variations sub mod. Uh, there will be a link to this in the description to the mod pack that I'm using. Um, lovely. I believe also, as we are elven, we have elven administration. So we get production efficiency, tax uh, modifiers, um, tech is more expensive. We get less global settlers. That's great for us, I guess. Institution spreads slower. Ugh. And our military as well. Manpower recovers very slowly, but we're good at ships. Um, good at discipline, plus 10% is very nice. We're also faster. We drill faster. We lose our drill slower. Uh, nice. Okay, some decent enough, decent enough bonuses there. Uh, we'll turn off that one, that one, and that one. Hoist the black flag. Can we totally become a, a pirate? We could become a pirate republic elf. An elven pirate. That's a scary thought. Uh, do we start with a mage? We don't probably don't start with a mage as our ruler. We do start as 300 years old. How long do elves live? I have no idea. Um, okay, let's have a look at the mission tree though, because apparently this is quite impressive. It goes fairly far in. Okay, so what do we need to do first? Uh, we need to unlock quest for Aelantir idea. Lovely. Uh, we need to have an income of 11.9, and we need to have the strongest trade power in Westport, which is this. Lovely stuff. All that seems relatively easy to do. 100 diplo power from that, construction time and construction cost, and then trade efficiency. And then we can also do this one. Uh, it's not the Age of Green Tide, it's Defender of the Faith. Alright, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let's get our trade ships, of which we start with 10. Let's get them protecting trade in Westport. Um, I am going to... Do I want to build more ships immediately? Maybe I want to wait until I've got a naval force of 20, and then I will build more ships then. Oh my. Oh my. Calisander Sea Watcher. You are quite, quite the man. Or the elf, I, I guess. 8677. My god. That is mwah, perfectly balanced. <laughs> I love it. I guess he is uh he he is some kind of magician, I guess. Maybe a mage admiral. God, that would be scary. All right, lovely. So we got uh traders. I want to collect from trade here. And I would like to push trade from here. He's not a mage, he's just a super admiral. He's probably going to die in a, about a month, let's be fair. Let's be realistic. And the, we're using... Uh, these are the Korean models? I feel like that's the Korean model. It's... Uh, I'm fairly sure that's the Korean uh, model set, but I'm not sure. 
Uh, he won't die, he'll just retire. He'll sail to the west like all elves. Alright. So I'm going to turn on auto development for the AI. And I guess our first port of call is going to be getting this idea so we can start down our mission tree. Also, your man is just an admiral. We need a conquistador. If he started as a conquistador, that would actually be pretty decent. It's Japanese set. Yeah, I mean, it's... Yeah, I suppose. Like, the Japanese and Korean sets are fairly similar. So you might you might be right. This, this mod would... It, it's already phenomenal. But imagine... Imagine if they were able to create an import and do custom... Um custom sprites for all of the different races. Like, imagine seeing a high-quality frickin' uh, orc traipsing across the land. Like, that would be... That would be just beautiful. Make note of the Admiral's name, by the way. Okay, so it's Kalasanda Sea Watcher. I'm, I'm now worried about why I need to make a note of that. Uh, for those of you on YouTube, I am streaming this right now on twitch.tv slash lorddiamond underscore, and I do have some of the uh, mod developers in uh, in chat, giving me some directions and hints and tips and stuff. Um, so uh, yeah, just uh, if I if I'm talking to chat, that's why. Um, we could uh, you 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 seem like a very evil person, so we'll uh, we'll rival you. Um, hmm. Do we want to be like raiding somebody? Can can I raid? Can I pirate people's coastlines? I like the idea. No, I can't. Damn it. It would be so cool if I could. So damn cool. Um, Ellison has announced me as a rival. That's who I've just rivaled, right? Yes. Okay. Fair enough. You are allied with Rubenair. You two together could probably kick my ass. So I'm thinking probably not going to be worrying about attacking you at all. That seems like a terrible idea. Order development off. We'll turn it on. Just means that if I get to um, my cap on power, it will just, uh, it will spend dev for me. Which I think, you know, <laughs> vanilla should probably have. Oh, let's also summon the diet. So, the clergy want me to have 10 base tags. The Merchant Guilds want me to have 25% trade power in the Fogged Sea. And the Mages want me to have a spy network on Ellison. And get 50 Diplo points for that. That seems like a lovely idea. Let's open all these out naturally. Build spy network. Aren't we all raiding pirate elves? I mean, that's the best kind of elves. Check the pips on your military unit. Every person has different pips. That's a fair point. Uh, so we have, we have three pips. That's, that's about what I expected, actually. I feel like I had that with the dwarves as well. Knights have four pips, so that's something I might want to bear in mind. Uh, they have no fire damage, but a lot of shock. A decent amount of shock. Very good amount of shock. But they're also, like, two and a half times as expensive. I'm happy just keeping my army exactly as the size that it is right now. I don't feel I need to mess around too heavily with that. Also, I wonder, have they done, like, flavor text for everything? Elven archers utilize hundreds of years of experience. Hundreds of years as... Hundreds of years as right now, let's be fair. Uh, I've experienced to become one of the deadliest combatants in history. Yeah, they've done, they've done some flavor text to every single one of them. That is... That's dedication, attention to detail. I love it. That's actually fantastic. Uh, do we have a decent economy? It's okay. It's okay. Um, let's go with infantry compatibility. Let's go with domestic trade power, perhaps. Yep, domestic trade power. And let's go with... I like production efficiency, man. Yes. 
That seems reasonable. Oh, there was a Magisterium on our side. Oh, maybe they were independent of the war. Because I have negative opinion of people who were on the other side, right? Oh, wait, Wex was on our side. Okay. Were you on the other side? Yeah, you're a Moon Party member. Pfft, filth. Filth! Fuck the Moon Party. Even though I am a Moon Elf. Where do I check that? There. Yeah, I'm a Moon Elf. But fuck the Moon Party. Magical Elite dislikes subsidized students. Uh, well, gain 10 loyalty with the nobility for no penalty whatsoever. Can you check out quantity ideas? Uh, probably, but we're going to be going through exploration first. Uh, quantity ideas. What do we get in this? So force limit, recovery speed, force limit, maintenance, reinforced cost, plus 25,000 manpower increase to base. That seems powerful. That seems very powerful. Is that's that's different from vanilla. I know this used to be way more unbalanced uh, than it is now. Like it got it got nerfed pretty hard. Like um, the endings of certain things. Like these used to be five percent discipline. It's no longer that anymore. Uh, like the ending of offensive. Yeah, it's now only 1.5%. So you can't stack shit as, as ridiculously as you used to be able to, which is good. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's still things that are quite powerful. All right. Is our, our goal is to get a 50 power projection? Sorry, spy network of 50? That's going to be quite difficult. That's going to be very, very difficult indeed. Like, he can catch me as soon as I get to 25. Hmm, embargo and insult him. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. I always forget to do embargoes. I don't know why. I just do. And we'll also insult him. Though insult at this point doesn't seem like it'd be too useful. Like what would it actually accomplish? Five power projection. It's not going to get us anywhere, really. A little bit of extra trade power. Yeah, yeah, sure. Gain a stability for 23 ducats. Yes. Seems delightful. Yeah, just a tiny bit of extra PP. Pee -pee. Everyone likes a bit more PP. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, learnings of an elder. It's very easy to forget the younger races live life to the fuller and quicker pace than ours. Eladrian the first must keep up with new developments in our country is to prosper. Bearing in mind, our ruler is three hundred and one. And he gains these bonuses, I guess, every so often. Why is he only a 151? I'm going to put it in admin, I think. Ugh, don't like either of those options, but I don't want to take debt yet. He's a boomer leader. Yeah, that that's totally it. It's because it's he's a boomer. There we go. How much dev are we going? Eight, eight on this island is not bad at all. Uh, Twenty-three in Vanail. Uh, we got fifteen there and seventeen there. It's, it's a decent amount of dev for four province nation. Sixty-three dev is not bad. But anyway, we're going to do the quest for Alentier. And with that, can I have three of your ships? Thank you, kind sir. You can continue uh, protecting trade here. You can go there. We're going to grab us. We can't grab ourselves a conquistador, unless you're going to give me one. Oh, actually, you're going to give me diplomatic power. So yes. Map the west. I need to discover Caxel. Oh, sorry, Caxel. Caxel. Well, we'll try. Uh, we're going to get an explorer called Kalendal True Sight. I hope you do have true sight and you'll be able to uh, see through the bullshit. So, explore. Explore the Northern Thor. I don't know where Cacthel is. I really have no clue. So, let's have a look what we can find. Let's follow on his journey. Nothing yet. Ooh, we found an island. Go on, find more. 
Buy me some good shit. I want the island. I don't know why I want the island, but I want the island. Oh, we found some land there as well. He's finished... What? You finished exploring, but you didn't explore that? That's rude. Hang on. I can just tell you to go and... Yeah, explore North Ulysses Lament Ocean region. Which apparently that is. Alariandel's Impulse. Alariandel is an old woman who legend tells was born aboard a ship crossing a storm. She is recognized throughout the country by virtue of her venerable age and experience as one of the best captains of the nation alongside Calisander. Him. While the country is filled with feeling of greatness and the desire to return to our origins, it's Alariandel who, after leaving retirement, will guide the effort of exploration with an iron hand and unshakable will. Fucking Christ, why? Hmm. <laughs> I I spent money on her. I lose two colonists, but I gain all of the colonial range. Um, I'm not... I'm not... Well, I can't say no to her. Why losing two colonists? I mean, okay. Also, yeah, these guys should totally be drilling right now. Underneath my ruler, because I, I don't take no shit. Hey, that's done. And what can we do with that anyway? Support some rebels. Yeah, nah. Uh, let's just improve neighbor relations for now. You need the range to actually discover the location you need. Fair enough. More islands. The rediscovery of Alentir. Oh, hang on, pause that. The first ever confirmation of Aelantir's existence uh, was the day it died. The day of ashen skies may have torn Aelantir asunder, but ever since the elven remnant fleet arrived in Kanor during the year 1000, the tales of their fabled homeland has gripped idealists and explorers from all over. Since then, many have attempted to sail west and failed until now. Aelantir has been rediscovered. Damn right. Oh, 50 prestige? Damn. I'll take it. Continue discovering things. I mean, all we did was find some islands. How, who was to say that this wasn't Aelent here? Who knows? Alright. You can get swapped out for this absolute beauty of, a, uh, of an explorer. If only I knew she was going to pop up, I wouldn't have bought the other dude. Change racial military? No. No, I don't think I will. No, I don't want to protect trade. I want to do more exploration. Um, North Alentier Coast, yes. Let's go. I mean, I've got no colonists right now, so all I, all I should be doing is just exploring, not trying to find coastlines. I'm going to do all of the seas first. Coming back already, fair enough. I would like you to explore the West Salahad Coast. Wherever that is. Down here, okay. This is Salahad, I guess. This mod's Africa, maybe? Can I get around the bottom of it and get all of the money from, you know, um, Anbanaz, India? Who knows? All right, let's explore some more South Sahel coast, sure. The coast is the location you need to find for the mission. Yeah, I'll do the, which, which coast though? Which specific coast do I need to find? You won't want to colonize India. Is it full of orcs, perhaps? That sounded bad. What I meant was like, is it full of people? Is it, whatever. You know, there's no, there's no, there's no saving that. Heated debates. Some members of the parliament are having some concerns regarding our increasingly bad reputation. Fuck them. Why is my reputation bad? My reputation is bad. It's plus one. Lose the stability or lose money. Well, pff. rude, rude, rude. Right. Let's explore. Which which sea do I need to go? Oh, there's, there's tiger people in uh, Anbinar, India. Interesting. 
It's the broken sea I need to go to? Okay. It's full of tabaxi. Damn it. Oh, and the command is there as well, of course. The ruined sea is what I need. Okay. Oh, there's a country. We can murder them. As all good colonists do. Where did my ships even go? Oh, they're up in the north. Okay. Broken Sea is uh, Canada, it looks like. The Canadian islands and archipelagos and stuff. 